overt narcissist. They display grandiosity and exaggerate their accomplishments. They genuinely believe that they are more special and deserving than others. They see themselves as perfect and are very quick to find fault in others. They are attention seekers and will get upset if they don't get it. They often belittle or look down on others they perceive as inferior. Spotting an over-narcissist is very straightforward. They dominate conversations and often talk about their own achievements. They are visibly upset or offended if they are not the center of attention. They react poorly to criticism and may become hostile or even dismissive. Covert narcissist. They are also known as vulnerable narcissists. They tend to appear shy, reserved, and worried. They constantly compare themselves with others in terms of happiness, possessions, or relationships. This is why they spend most of their time alone. They are also driven by personal gain and aggressive behavior to manipulate others. They are hard to identify because they don't express themselves openly. They have a victim mentality and blame others for their failures. They seek sympathy through subtle self-depreciation. Hypervigilant narcissist. These individuals are always on the lookout for criticism from others. They fear rejection to an extreme degree and are disproportionately aggressive to even minor insult. They have elements of paranoia and an intense need of control to protect their self-esteem. They believe that everyone is out to undermine them and take everything personally. They are very quick to overreact, conspire and attack. While they may seem overly protective or just cautious, they often struggle with deep-seated insecurity and fear of failure. Grandiose narcissist. They are characterized by an exaggerated sense of self-importance and a robust, often unshakable confidence. These individuals believe they are superior, deserving of admiration, and destined for greatness. They often talk about their own accomplishments and abilities. They expect a special treatment for themselves and get irritated when they don't get one. They think everyone else an inferior or a tool to be used. They dominate conversations and seek positions of higher authority to validate their superiority. Exhibitionist narcissist. They are the narcissists who have to be the center of attention or be seen as the life of the party. They crave the admiration of others and will go to great lengths to be noticed. They will tell you how to smile, what to wear, what to do and what not to do. They think that everyone thinks they are special. You will find them treating social interactions as performances where they must shine brighter than others. They may even engage in risky stunts to ensure everyone notices them. Sexual narcissist. They view their ability to attract and seduce partners as a testament to their superiority and often use sexuality as a tool to gain attention and manipulate others. They might be great at sex, but they lack emotional connection and empathy towards their partners. More likely, they treat their sexual partners as an object. You can see them bragging about their sexual encounters and are overly flirtatious in social settings. They are very likely to cheat on their partners in the pursuit of sexual attention. Vindictive narcissist. This type of narcissist is characterized by their malice, spite, and often extreme reactions to criticism, betrayal, or disappointment. They have a deep-seated desire to severely punish anyone who has wronged them. They are hypersensitive to disagreement or rejection, and take these experiences personally. If they have been hurt by you in any way, they will seriously try to end your career or ruin your relationship or something similar. They plan the techniques that they would use to take revenge from the individual who has harmed them. They do not accept apologies and keep grudges for long term. Malignant narcissist. They represent a severe and dangerous blend of narcissism with antisocial behavior, aggression, and often paranoia. This type is known for their willingness to use cruelty and deception to achieve their ends, showing little regard for morality or the welfare of others. They may disguise their true intentions and manipulative behaviors under a facade of charm or charisma. Their actions are usually aimed at gaining power or control and are carried out with a calculated, ruthless efficiency. Antagonistic narcissist. They thrive on conflict and competition seeing interactions as opportunities to assert dominance over others. This type actively seeks to provoke and belittle others to maintain their sense of superiority. They enjoy provoking others and use sarcasm and criticism as common tools. They lack the charm of other narcissistic types and instead display the more unappealing traits of entitlement, arrogance, lack of empathy, and disregard for others' well-being. Somatic narcissist. They focus primarily on their body, physical appearance, and sexual conquests, as the primary sources of their self-worth. They view their attractiveness and physical abilities as key indicators of their superiority and often use them to gain attention and admiration from others. They tend to obsess over their appearance and criticize the appearance of others, demonstrating underlying insecurity and low self-esteem. They spend a significant amount of time and resources on their looks 
gym memberships, and fashion. Their conversations often revolve around topics of diet, exercise, beauty, or sexual adventures. They react defensively or with irritation if they perceive any threat to their image or attractiveness. They tend to evaluate others based on physical appearance and are quick to make superficial judgments. They use charm and seduction to win over others and often see relationships as trophies or achievements. Cerebral narcissist. They derive their sense of superiority from their intelligence, academic achievements, or intellectual pursuits. They pride themselves on being the smartest in the room and use their mental acumen to garner respect and admiration from others. They look down on those they perceive as intellectually inferior. They dominate conversations, steering them towards their areas of expertise and often using complex jargon to confuse or impress others. They are quick to dismiss opinions or ideas that they deem intellectually inferior. They may show little interest in topics or activities that do not stimulate their intellect or enhance their reputation as a thinker. They rarely show genuine interest in the personal lives or emotional states of others, focusing instead on academic, professional, or theoretical discussions. Spiritual Narcissist They use their spirituality or religious beliefs to assert superiority and manipulate others. They position themselves as more enlightened, morally superior, or in closer connection with divine powers than others. They often speak in terms of us versus them, creating a divide between the spiritually enlightened and others. They leverage their spiritual authority to gain power, money or sexual favours under the guise of spiritual guidance. They react defensively or with hostility when their spiritual beliefs or authority are questioned. They position themselves as mentors or leaders, offering guidance that often leads followers to depend on them. They use guilt, shame or fear as tools to maintain control. In addition, they display a public persona of holiness or spiritual dedication that can be quite persuasive and charismatic. Communal Narcissist They believe they have extraordinary potential and capability, often thinking of themselves as the best listeners, helpers, socialisers and charitable people on the planet. They frequently boast about their selflessness and the impact of their contributions. They expect to be recognised and praised excessively for their efforts, often becoming upset if they do not receive the acknowledgement they believe they deserve. They often emphasize their own role in group efforts, seeking to overshadow the contributions of others. They are more concerned with how their help is seen by others rather than the actual benefit or effectiveness of their actions. They may leverage their charitable identity to gain social standing, professional benefits, or influence within a community. Healthy Narcissist Developing healthy narcissism can have its benefits. Having a strong sense of self-worth grounded in reality is key to being a healthy, happy, and self-confident adult. The healthy narcissist can acknowledge and prioritize their own needs and not feel guilty about this. They may share their successes with others, but they don't do this just to gain others' admiration.